Good morning, everybody. This is Diggs. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest. And today we're going to talk about the new Trembling Heart VC, whether or not it is worth it to pull. We're also going to talk a little bit about Fryevia, a little bit about the global exclusive ice VCs that we have and why those really matter with this VC in context. Let's go ahead and dig in. <laughs> So first off, this VC is incredible. Uh, it is in the general pool, and I think if you are a player who builds slowly or builds long, and you know you want to build this slowly since it's going to be in the permanent pool, you may not want to pull it right away. That's totally fine. I think in the long run, though, or if you're someone that runs an ice composition, this VC is invaluable. This VC is going to open up so many doors for you. Uh, and I think a lot of people see this as like the Velus VC, right? They're like, oh, yeah, if you run Velus, this is going to be a really good VC. Undoubtedly. But there's elements of this VC that are very good. Max damage up 2,500 for ice elemental units fantastic right that's going to be great for any type of pve content that you may be running all of a sudden putting this on fryevia in a ice slash composition in order to enhance your ice chain damage going to be amazing for her uh, you're also going to increase cap damage you're going to increase magic for the party and unlike the jp side we actually have a lot of ice exclusive units and vcs of course front and foremost being Fryevia. So I think you can't talk about this VC and not talk about Fryevia. And I think it's important to know, you know, we don't really see an ice meta on JP, but it's that doesn't mean that we aren't gonna get an ice meta or ice isn't going to be relevant on the global side. And particularly with Fryevia, the VCs that she has available to her, uh, I think it's absolutely possible we might see an ice magic meta uh, making an appearance here. Uh, let's take a look at a turn of Puritas again. For those of you that might not know, it gives slash resistance party wide, it gives wind resistance. Fryevia gets additional accuracy and missile resistance, uh, increased chance of being targeted by five on the ice unit, uh, HP up, to Defense debuff reduction, right? This is going to pair really well with magic 50% from the Trembling Heart VC, and it's going to toss 10 AoE resistance as well through the party. We also have five spirit from this VC. Well, you know what else gives spirit is actually the Starlight Trist VC, which is also another global exclusive VC. Uh, so not only does it give plus luck on it, uh, it gives Velric a buff, it gives Lemuria a buff, which you're probably not going to be putting this on Lemuria anytime soon, uh, but it has dex up, attack up, luck up, and then party wide, it gives slash attack up, it gives spirit plus eight, and it gives pierce resistance 20. So when you are considering, you know, how this VC might be utilized, you really need to think of it in the context of GL exclusive right with Fryevia and with other VCs that don't exist on the JP side uh, because we are in unknown territory and it's quite possible we could see a resurgence of potentially Fryevia and Valentine Salir. Now, unfortunately, there's only a few units, though, that really would benefit from the plus magic on the VC. Uh, most of ice is physical pierce or physical slash the only units in ice that are really going to be magic oriented are going to be velis medina uh valentine salir and fryevia rosa you could make an argument is magic oriented but i don't think rosa is ever going to have that oomph to really make a difference magically chell of course gets the plus agility and gets the plus magic and i could totally see uh, in class match, Ice being really dominant with this VC, running like Chell, Fryevia, uh, Valentine, Salir. I could totally see that happening. Uh, but for general play, I'm really curious uh, how potentially Velis, uh, Valentine, Salir, and Fryevia are going to work out. There is a lot of Terra out there in the world right now. Uh, Terra is an absolutely terrifying monster to any type of Ice composition. But... There's still more light slash composition, like evade composition. There's a lot of dark compositions out there. There's a lot of lightning compositions out there. So, you know, very similar to how we were talking, like if a lightning GL exclusive comes out and the game itself is going to be very balanced, I think this is going to be a very powerful balancing VC for ice as well. Uh, and I think, you know, it's important not to discount the capability and the power of this VC in the long run. Uh, so I do think 
everybody should probably be pulling on this VC at some point. Uh, if you are an Ice main, this is a no-brainer. If you're a Fryavia main, this is a no-brainer. Uh, I think this VC, though, for most players, probably hold off in the long run or hold off because, you know, you're going to probably get it when you pull something else. Uh, but I think we could potentially see ice compositions coming back, uh, particularly in class match for the Chell bonuses. The Howlet and the Titus bonuses are pretty irrelevant uh, just because this isn't a multi-element VC. The other thing to consider is, you know, this kind of, this is almost anti-synergy depending on what other ice vcs you're running which can also be problematic right uh the vc i'm thinking of in particular is going to be maniple a lot of people in ice right now uh, are huge fans of arenea and of course with arenea the main buff on the maniple party wide is going to be aoe resistance and pierce attack so that basically null and voids the aoe resistance that you're going to get along with the plus magic so there is some anti-synergy that you do need to be aware of but i think if you are someone who wants to have a versatile ice composition if you're someone who's wanting to run Velus potentially uh, or not run Aranea, which I feel like Aranea is one of the better ice units now, but it's possible we could see like, again, Freyavia, Valentine, Salir, and Velus kind of make a coordinated appearance. Uh, I'm pretty excited and I may actually try out that formation myself. I think I will pull on this VC just because I think it'll be relevant long term. And personally, I don't know about any of you guys, I'm very excited with Medina. Like I love my Medina 120. So it might be worth it for me just because I love messing around with my Medina to grab this VC and buff her up. Uh, you know, it's going to be fantastic. So anyway, everybody, uh, thank you so much for watching again. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. I'll be on stream later tonight, uh, pulling for this VC. Hopefully they don't surprise us with like an ice GL exclusive because that would absolutely change how relevant this VC is but I think Esther's going to be coming. So uh, catch you guys all later and have a good rest of your day.